Good morning, guys. Welcome to Kanchanaburi. This is a province pretty near Bangkok. And we came here to go to the famous Erawan National Park. And there we're going to see some waterfalls. But first we have to talk to the guy from the hotel. Well, this is not a hotel. This is more like a... Uh, how would you call this? Floating houses on the river? Resort? Yeah, resort. Yeah, this is not the concept of resort I have in my mind, but anyway. So we're gonna talk to the guy because he offered to take us to the waterfalls by car, which is, sounds convenient. And after that, we might explore the waterfalls and come back by bus or walking, which we heard is possible. We'll see what we're gonna do. So join us on this adventure and see you at the waterfalls. <laughs> Since it's not high season, this is very quiet now. Plus it's a Monday, so probably the weekend people already left. We heard this area is quite for locals and... Good morning! Let's go, Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Thank you! Stopping for a minute here because the guy told us this is a pretty big dam. No, no, here, here. This dam that uh, people usually skip and they go through directly to the waterfalls. But he said it since we are with a car and it's just five minutes away, he told us we could check it out. So check this dam. Damn. So the bus stops here. Yeah. All right. The blue bus here. Okay. So we're gonna come back at whether at 12 or 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. All right. I have problem and no come back. You call me now. Okay. Have fun. Go. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. It's way more developed than what we expected. There's like a big visitor center here. There's a bunch of restaurants and snack shops, little cafe right there. But we didn't come for the shops. We came for the waterfall, so. Different seven floors of the waterfalls. Okay, we start with Hlai Kuen room, Wang Matcha, 
Ha Nam Tok, Okenang Pisau, Bue Mai Long, Dong Fruksa, Fufu Erawan. Yeah, you can trash me on the comments for my pronunciation. Yeah, I think we are on the first level, Lai Kun Rang. This is one of the golf carts that they say you can rent if you don't feel like walking and getting tired. But I think it's pretty easy walk. I mean, if a golf cart can go, it's asphalt. It's easy to walk. It's not a, like a crazy big hike. Yeah. Not everything is nature here. You have this place to rent a life jacket. Only 20 baht per person. There's even an entrance for wheelchairs, which I find is a very important thing. So you can come up to this point. Oh my God, so many fish. Of course, stairs that take them hate. On our way up to the waterfalls, we saw something which is quite interesting. Here you see this on a tree, dresses, clothes. I'm not sure if it's for sale or when people get wet, they come here and change, or maybe they are offered. I have no idea. If you know what this means, Oh, what is this? Uh, leave it in the comments, please. Heading to level six. Whew. It's getting steeper and steeper. So here we are, finally at level 7, Fu Fa Erawan, the highest of the waterfalls in Erawan National Park. First of all, we were impressed by the beauty of this waterfall. It's not a super tall waterfall, but the vegetation around and the way the water flows makes it stunning. We expected to see more people out there, but as you can see, there are only a few people swimming and some people outside. This was around 11.30 in the morning, so maybe it gets more crowded as more visitors enter the park and climb all the way up here. Apart from the main lagoon, on the right of the waterfall there is this path that leads to a little higher level. At first it seems a bit tricky, but I found out that those rocks aren't slippery at all. Anyway, be careful because I did find slippery parts like some tree roots underwater or some other rocks at the beginning. And after a few meters, there was this little waterfall that not many people was checking. I could not resist and went down there. It felt like a massage. At first, Hekyong didn't want to climb up, but seeing how easy it was and how rewarding, I insisted on her to join me for a while in this more secluded waterfall. 
and right there, refreshing with the water hitting our heads and backs, it felt like we accomplished the mission. We climbed and walked hundreds of steps going up, almost like 2 kilometers from the beginning at the entrance of the park. But then all the sweat went away and we felt like we did a good exercise and deserved that. Our host told us there is a blue bus here waiting to depart at 2 p.m. I think this bus goes all the way to Kanchanaburi, but we're gonna get off at our resort. So the bus just dropped us uh, from Era One Waterfall to our Bank Groupon. Accommodation was 30 baht. 30 baht. But, but it's each. 50 if you go to Kanchanaburi. Yeah, it's almost one hour from Erawan to one hour, one hour half from Erawan to Kanchanaburi, about 60 kilometers. It starts very slow, but then it gets fast as it gets this kind of good road. And we are so hungry now, so we're gonna get some food. Let's see what we find open because there's not many options around here. Yeah, I just but... found one restaurant on Google map, probably the only restaurant nearby. Yesterday late night I went there and it was closed. It was so Yeah, I guess it was late. It's very late. It was eight past eight. So, so what we did was since everything was closed, we gambled. We tried on Grab, the delivery application, and wrongly I had my address as the Kanchanaburi bus station, which was 60 kilometers before, but I didn't know that. So when we ordered from some place nearby, but it was nearby the station, yeah, we ordered some whatever, chicken and rice or whatever. Okay, and then when the order went through, and then the delivery guy said, it's far, it's 60 kilometers, cannot do it, blah, blah, 60 kilometers. And then I checked and I realized I was ordering from that. And probably no one, no one would, you know, you know, the delivery guys were, Thinking that, that the delivery, the drop, 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 it's peaceful, it's quiet, maybe because it's weekday and it's not peak season. Maybe you come on a weekend and it's a bit more crowded and party area, but I would say it's worth a visit. The waterfalls are stunning and it feels nice. It's a place we never heard before and we feel quite satisfied with, the, with this accommodation with floating boats on the water. We did some kayaking and some stand-up paddleboard the waters are easy to row. There's not like a strong current. It can be, uh, you can find strong currents at some points of the year, at some, some months of the year, but generally it feels quite peaceful or quiet, I would say. And the waters won't drag you down the river. Going far away from the house. Yeah, there's also these uh, cute unicorns that you can ride or jump on. But they recommend always use the life jacket because, you know, it's a river. You never know how far it can take you and maybe you get too tired swimming. So better to float or have the safety and security of, you know, you're going to float. You can also take this uh, raft. It has a engine, motor, and then go river up or river down, take the paddleboard with you, spend the 
morning or the afternoon on the water. I think you can even eat on that raft or drink. Oh, look at that. This also has a small barbecue. <laughs> nice. I can't imagine how it would be if it's crowded, but for sure more movement and more activity, but it feels super quiet right now here. I think I'm just gonna try the stand-up paddle board for a while. tutorial or video on YouTube. So next time I should do that, right? Oh Jesus, this backpack is so heavy and fat. I don't think I have that many things inside, but it's so fat. I really hope that this fits in the bus uh, so I will have some space uh, for my legs in the seat. All right guys, so this is the end of this episode. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and Make sure to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and families. And leave a comment if you have any questions, we might be glad to answer. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye! Bye.